Hi guys, Mr. Freedy Hero here, and in today's video, I'm going to cover over some news on what's going to happen now that Frontier Defense is out. Now, Frontier Defense is one of those anticipated game modes that a lot of players have been waiting for. Since Time for One was released, um, Frontier Defense was highly and well run out for being a very fun and down to earth just gameplay mode where you just went against a horde of enemies where you just chill, relax, and just have fun. So they brought a 2.0 version in into Time for Two, and generally I can say I love this game mode, and this is a game mode that I've been waiting for quite a long time. It's like I said, it's very laid back. You can just have fun. You can even put challenges for yourself if you want to, and it's very rewarding since whatever you do in Frontier Defense also pays off in multiplayer as well. Now a recent interview by Gamespot was basically talking about some of the future content that was going to be coming for Time for Two, or just generally what's going to be coming up next. And in one of the lines I quote, So with Frontier Defense at the door, can we expect to see more Time for Two content like this after the release of the Ultimate Edition? And this is what Vincent Zampella said, Probably not, we want to work on new stuff. Now, from what I've been seeing on the community, most people have been taking this in two different ways. Most people just think that this basically means that this is the end, Frontier Defense is the last major DLC to ever be released. Other people are basically saying that this isn't the last bit of information or DLC to be released and we should be getting some more. And it's basically the latter. Basically what he's saying is here is that we're not going to be seeing anything as large scale as Frontier Defense anymore. That's it. So we're not going to be seeing any type of extra content for single player, no like multiplayer, like co-op in single player campaign. We're not going to be seeing any like large scale game modes anymore. That's kind of it. We've done it. We've reached a point now where Frontier Defense has been released and now majority of the team is, is going to be mainly working on the new games such as Star Wars or whatever's coming next. So this basically kind of inclines me that now that Frontier Defense is out, what's the next map that's going to be released? Now, there are still a few maps that most people would love to see, and generally, considering where they're going with this, it's going to be another Time for One map. We're not going to be seeing no new Time for Two maps, as Glitch was maybe an exception. If we are going to see any more new Time for Two maps, it's probably going to be Life Fire. Since, by the looks of it, they're quite easy to build, they're really small, and generally, any one of the devs could probably take a, say, a few days to a week to actually create an environment, create the map, test it, run it, and then go check it off into PlayStation or Xbox or PC. But at best now we're probably at the point of where we're not going to get maybe a few more maps, maybe a, a new Titan, maybe, and maybe just slightly we might get a new weapon if we play hard enough. Now one thing you guys have to remember is that I have a feeling that we could have typically gotten more maps if this game worked out completely well. Now, if the game wasn't released in between the new Call of Duty and the Battlefield 1, and it was kind of pushed back a little bit later, after you know the hype for these two games went out completely, I think that this game here will probably got more maps. Up to probably about, say, next year, March, maybe April. But for the current rate that we're in now, I highly doubt this, I highly doubt Time for Two is going to get any more, because it sold poorly, considered stated by the devs. So now we have a good amount of say three, four more months to go to the end of this year. And I believe that within those three to four months we're gonna be getting a new map, maybe some new game modes, and maybe like I said, new titans or weapons in those three to four months. That's all we're probably gonna be getting. Because this game has been out for a good while now. I believe about ten months, nearly ten months now being released. So this game's basically coming to the end of its life cycle. So for all those that are hoping to see some more major new content to be released for this game, I highly doubt it. I really doubt that we get any more, anything major at least. But I'm hoping that the next type of content that we're releasing is actually just more fun maps. More old fun maps. Maps that many of us would love to see be reintroduced again. Or better off, I would love to see another new Titan. Two more Titans are best. Because all of you do know about the Archon and Lamb Titans that were basically listed within the games, but was never really explored. So those are two Titans that could potentially be introduced into the game. 
Or maybe, just maybe, they could bring in a new weapon. Apparently, there should be a double barrel shotgun within the files that's meant to be introduced in the game. But that's for another story. So tell me what you guys think about the matter. Are you happy with how the game came out? Are you disappointed that the game has to end so quickly? Or are you happy that the game has done its rounds, has done quite a good one done in the community, and you genuinely can't wait till Titanfall 3 gets released? And also, while you're at it, tell me what game you're also going to be playing near the end of the year. Are you going to be playing the new Destiny 2 game? Are you going to be playing Warframe? Or are you going to be playing Monster Hunter? Or even the new Call of Duty? So go ahead, tell me in the comment section. I would love to listen. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. So that's the end of the video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then by all means, leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more. If you didn't, then by all means, leave a dislike. I'll understand, and I know what to do in the near my future. So once again, guys, thank you all for watching, and I do hope to see you again soon.